Hey subscribers, this is Bruce and of course today I have a Big Bear Bard board games video to do today because we received a very large package which usually means a new game. So check. Oh, knocking the tree over. Uh, check out this big box. Uh, so let's get into this and see what we have in here. Quartermaster Logics, packaged and shipped by your friends at Quartermaster Logics. See something wrong or missing? Let us know. Help at qmlogistics.com. So, won't know until I get into it. Oh, and of course, this is, oh, good heavens, it's big. It's big. Is there anything else in the box? Yes, there is. So I'm going to set it down for now. But what we have here is Shovel Knights. <laughs> and of course, it has all kinds of... This looked like a fun game on Kickstarter. And... And that's what what it would look like set up. So I'm going to set this over here. Unfortunately, it's out of the camera. I have a tight space here. And we've got, I expect this is a, an expansion piece. That is a miniature in orange. And we'll take a closer look at these. There is a miniature in blue. An empty bag. Just to make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, so that looks like everything. And we have a big old empty box. Whoa, I hit light. So, let's set these aside and let's get into the big box. And here we go. You shrink it. Now on this package, it says ages 10 plus. The game takes 30 to 45 minutes to play and one to four players. So solo gamers, you can play this by yourself too. It's a big game though for playing by yourself. But, let's set her down, make sure there's no, no seal holding the lid. This is a big lid to take down. Shovel Knights Dungeon Duels, the board game. This lid doesn't want to slide off easy. It is moving, but suction. Oh, 
国五哈。From underneath. Oh, did you hear that? Doop. That was a big old doop. So there's the lid. And I'll set that over here. I'm crunching on the packaging. And top of tile. Dungeon Knights, Shovel Knights, Dungeon Duels, and this has edges. These edges are raised, I'm not sure why. And that is a piece of cardboard. Okay, so I'm going to set this down and take stuff out. Oh my goodness. This is a rule book. It is a 58 pages, not counting, 58 page rule book. That's a lot of rules, but, but let's take a, a look at what this considers. What, what, let's check out what's all in here. And we have contents, introduction, components, knight hero card, enemy stat sheet, boss stat sheet, boss cards, tiles, play area, track, spawn cards, loot. And it goes on and on. And of course, there's lots of so that's the index there's all these things in here and I just read part of this column and none of this column because I don't want this video to be too terribly long but as you can see there's images and layouts and it's kind of done in pixelated art like it came from a video game which I think it did come from a video game lots of big pictures but lots of text too and it's not easy to read the text because it's reverse reverse text is proven to be more difficult to read, particularly in print. Not so much online, but in print it is. How do I know this? Because I worked in marketing for many, many years. That's before I became an IT guy. Flip through and see if there's anything really noteworthy to show. And it has a lot of images from the video game rather than the board game, which I think through the rules are trying to explain that this is a board game that has a video game back. Now we have a tray of minis. We have more than one tray of minis. We have all these. So, let's see if we can get, get a close up of these. No. 
that's a skeleton type character. This one is different. And he has a hat. Then we go over here to this one. This guy has a clear base because I think he's flying. He's got a propeller on his head. See, there's a propeller. There's several of those. And up here we have kind of a warrior. A knight. A knight lucky. A knight lucky individual. I think you've seen everybody in this tray. And here we go. We have more miniatures with some colored miniatures. We'll start off down here. And it wouldn't have been hard for them to just do a simple wash on this to really bring out the detail. But that's okay. Uh, this is a looks like a knight type person with really big hands. which one's the front on this one. There's her face. This is a her. And of course, and here is somebody with a propeller on his head. Interesting poses. There's his propeller. How cool is that? Now we've got, I think we've got some shovel knights here. And they come in orange, green, blue, and yellow and then there's some this is a beast of some kind uh, looks like it's a sentient beast because it has a weapon there's like this weapon There's four of them. And here is a knight with his propeller on the back. There's four of those. And then we go up in here and we've got a big old, big old Brutus with his big shovel. That's his face there. 
Of course, his one foot it's like he's running. Where's his shovel full of stuff? He's the biggest one in this tray. And then there is the bird looking person here with a hammer. I don't know if that's supposed to be a mask. There's one of him. And there's one of a knight with this arrow shooter thing. See, I think he's looking at you that way. You wouldn't want him looking at you that way. He's got a backpack on. And this little guy who's got a wrench. I think he's a fix it dude. He's got the mask on and the wrench and like a apron of sorts. And of course, coming back. And that's everybody in this tray. How cool is that? So, this. I'll set that over here. You don't want to slide off, so I'll just set you down. And we have in here. I'm not sure what this is, but it says enemy stats. It's in shrink wrap, or it's in poly seal here but it's a card it's like a very light cardboard and of course enemy stats so that's cool have some punch outs here and we'll punch one out they're in there. So there, there's a punch out. It's pretty good. It's like average thickness for a board game, so it's sturdy enough. And I'm gonna put that back in. And here we have this looks like a board. And that's the same size as the punch outs. This is like a map tile. Two sided. There's a throne. And this is like a dungeon. And we've got more punch outs. More punch outs. I think these are all the monsters in card form because I think different versions of this game would have just the cardboard monsters, whereas the one I have has all the miniatures because I backed it on Kickstarter. <sighs> because if you see, and this will be good if I ever decide to paint the monsters because this will give me an idea of colors. So, very cool. And that bird thing is a mask according to this image here. So we've got some more, some more of those cards there. That's like the monster cards, but these are the various knights I would expect. Let's take a look and see if we can get inside this. So we've got Blue Shovel Knight with some stats on both sides. 
running for the prize, raise high for the toast. This is our moment. green shovel night. This is our moment. This is our moment. Red shovel night. Yellow shovel night. King knight. Red. Or orange, I'm not sure. Spectre knight. Plague knight. That's ones with bird mass. Treasure Knight. This is our moment. Always on the grind to the sun come on us. Mole Knight. They can never control us. Yes, that's all the different types of knights that are in this game. This is our moment. Polar Knight. It's got a big shovel. That's that one. I showed you with the big shovel. Propeller Knights. Tinker Knight, that's the one with the wrench. And this one is Enchantress. She's a boss. These are like arrow cards. And there's two of those. So let's get all these back in. Set those over there. Set these over. Stats. And we go in here. We have a lot of standees for the cardboard standees in here. We've got some clips. And I'm not exactly sure what these clips are for. I guess I'll find out. Unless that's to signify something. We've got a couple decks of cards. And this is the hero cards. And it's got these whole, whole tabs. There's a lot of cards here. So there are Shovel Knight Blue. And of course, that's the back of this Hero Cards. And these are all these are spawns and of course that has these guys with the uh, various monsters so monsters and characters that spawn. So there we go. And the next bunch of cards. I see a bunch of blue knights. And these are Shovel Knight, Blue Shovel Knight, and what I, what is on the other side are these layout cards. 
and I'm not sure how exactly I would use these just yet. And go through the deck a little further. And we have the Enchantress. And the same thing. Some Leo cards. And we've got another. And of course, I think this has those type of layout cards for all of the different characters because here is the Tinker Knight and and here is the Propeller Knight and of course theirs has going up as well so they, they have different varieties, different movement patterns. So I won't go into showing you all the cards because I think all of the characters are represented. Um, and at least in this deck. And we'll put those back in and just check out the other deck. It looks like some of these cards are the same, but look, the edges are showing some of them are not the same. There we go. And And we have here some loot cards. And a turncoat. Packet, and it explains on the bottom what the loot does. And there's a lot of loot cards because these are all loot cards. For example, an alchemy coin, a chaos orb. And I think these are all things that you would collect in the board game or in the video game. So that's cool. So these are all loot cards. And we have initiative cards. These are smaller cards, they're initiative cards. That's upside down. And Shovel Knight Initiative. Starter Gear. So these are equipment cards. Okay, so only one is an initiative card. There's equipment cards. And starter gear is a shovel. So that's what these little cards are. And we have over here this deck which has got pointy things all over it. I love when the pull tabs work. Okay, I think these are tile cards for the board because there's pointy things, there's that on the other side of that one. So pointy things or bubbling pits. There's fire and ice. There's rocks and more fire. 
with a with somebody in it. That one has some somebody in it. The other ones don't. And this bike has kind of a monster in it. Or that's a monster of some kind. And not sure what that is, whether it's clouds or bubbles or what it is from. And that's what's on the rest of these. So this, these are terrain, terrain tiles for that map. How cool is that? And I just want to make sure if there's anything under this tray. These molded game trays really do make the games useful. There's nothing underneath that tray. And these look like they're more train tiles. And this one says start. 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 And train tiles. Boom. There's a variety of them. So these ones all look like they're outside. And then we go into a building because there's tiled floors. And the other side is, this is like the underside of the building because here, it's green. It's green. And then things seem to get hot. Or scary. or icy, or hot. And this is like a river of some kind. Gets bigger and smaller. And separated and completely. And of course, the other side has some of those. And there's some blank tiles. And the rest of these are all blank on the other side, but these are. That's where, what I imagine the cards are for. For customizing terrain. So that's everything that's in the big box. That's a lot. Not complaining. And that's it for the main box for Shovel Knights. How cool is that? If you want to know how to play this, just leave it in the comments below. Um, it may be a while before I get it all figured out, but I'll come back and show you how it's played. So that's Shovel Knights. And we have a couple of Kickstarter extras here to go into. I'm going to just set this on this little table back here. And So we'll go into one, into this. This is an orange knight. There we go. Shovel knight. Pew, pew, pew. 
and he is in there at the bottom. That's him. And this is called the Shield Knight. So I think this introduces a new character to the game. And there's even a, a punch out for him, a standee for him if you didn't want to use the miniatures, and his stats cards. Shield Knight. So it introduces a new kind of knight. I'll put him back in. I'll do that later. And the other one is a fish head knight. So this introduces two additional type of knights into the Shovel Knight's kingdom. And here is the fish head knight. Not sure why he's a fish head. And he's got a shovel. There we go. And his card is... Fish Head Knight. And his standee. Oh, sorry about that. Do these too late at night because it's quieter. And there you have it. That's it for Shovel Knights. Take care and we hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon.